Now, so if I understand what you, um, I, I think we have discussed that, uh, you know, I've I've been trying to uh, work with your framework and trying to break it you know, on this uh, hypothesis about the ontology thing, and so what I was trying was uh, trying to uh, pick up some of the composite constructs from the enterprise, and when I break them into primitives, so if you if I get uh, more number of primitives uh, than what is defined in your framework, uh, I would have known that. Uh, you know something is wrong with the framework, but I could tell you that uh, I've been trying to break that uh, for last uh, decade or so. Uh, and every time, uh, no matter what I picked up, which framework or whatever, I, uh, and trying to break them down, the number of primitives I would get, uh, they are just a, such a small subset of total primitives that is captured within your framework. So uh, yeah, I think uh, it's, it's it's good to see that. Uh, the positioning of your framework um, and and better understanding in terms of the ontology than just uh, and uh, you're right. What you s uh, the problem? What I see is that you know people get confused when they see the word uh, framework uh, on Zachman and on Tugaf on even J2E, right? So yeah, it's I think it'll be a good idea maybe a few years down the line to actually have ontology. Well, I uh, the the concept of ontology is really uh, an important concept, although it may not be common in our vocabulary. But it's an important concept because the ontology has to has to, by definition, represent a total set of, of elementary or primitive components from which any manifestation of that is created, or else the ontology is not an ontology. It's not valid. So th th your experience is exactly correct. I mean, you can take any implementation, any system, any artifact, any document, anything in the enterprise, and you can parse out of that what the elementary primitive components are and fit them into my framework. And, and it, it's, I, I have a high confidence in this now, after 40 or so years of, uh, of trying to ensure that it is comprehensive, that it is complete, and I'll, I'll right. tell you why it is. The classification on both axes are comprehensive. The classification on the, or, uh, on the vertical axes are the primitive interrogatives. That's where I get the word from, primitive, primitive interrogatives. What, how, where, who, when, and why. We have known for thousands of years of linguistic experience to have a complete description of anything. You have to answer six primitive interrogatives. Right. And if you don't answer all those primitive interrogatives, you have an incomplete description. And by the same token, the other dimension of the uh, classification is, comes from reification, which is a concept of philosophy. Aristotle and Plato knew that when you an idea that you can have is one thing, but the instantiation of that idea is a completely different thing. And the idea has to go through a well-known set of transformations to get from the idea to implementation. They have to de identify it or name it, they have discussion, they have to define it, they have the semantic structures, then you represent it to do the engineering, to f find the logic, then you then you constrain that the logic with the with the specifications of the implementation technology to configure it based upon the tooling you have available and then you instantiate it if it goes through those trans transformations what you create will have a resemblance with what your idea was right. at the outset both axes of the framework are comprehensive and complete so I have a high level of confidence when I say to you you can pick any implementation of an enterprise and you can figure parse up, parse out the elementary or primitive components, and they will be classifiable in the context of that framework. So, and if you, so any artifact is a subset. It is just a piece, a very small piece, because there's an infinite number of compounds or infinite number of composite representations in an enterprise. And if you're only creating some some number. It doesn't make any difference what number, 100, 10, you know, 1,000. It's a subset of the total set of, of composite constructs that can be created for that, that end object, in our case, enterprise. That's very interesting. And just to kind of uh, uh, simplify that, what you're saying is if I need to break the periodic table, the uh, <coughs> periodic table, what I need to do is uh, get a compound, 
uh, pass the, the elements uh, and uh, if I get more elements than the elements which are described in Mendeley's periodic table that means uh, periodic table is not good uh, and similarly what you're saying yes yeah, absolutely same with what you're saying is that uh, pick up any enterprise uh, composite which exists uh, identify the primitives out of that and if you get more primitives than what is defined in your framework then your framework is broken and as we have figured out for last 40 years we have been failed to do that it's precisely right it's precisely right I mean I'll tell you you cannot find, take a compound go to the chemistry metaphor again which is which is useful for for understanding pick a compound any compound you want you are not going to be able to find an element that is not represented in the periodic table right. it is you're not going to find it right. because the periodic table is is an ontology. It's a classification of the total set of elementary components from which the end object, whatever chemical is, is, is created. 